So today's video is gonna be such a highly, highly, highly requested video. I cannot believe it's been a year since I've done this video. I feel like this is the third year I do this already. Today I'm gonna walk you through my all-time favorite products from ColourPop. My most used products, my must-haves, the unique stuff, the great stuff, all the things I think everyone should try out from ColourPop. And for the past couple of months, I've been getting so many messages to do this video. But I thought, you know what? It's time I filmed that video. It's time I film it. They have released so many new things since my last Best of ColourPop video. Like, it's insane. So I want to talk to you guys all about my favorite stuff from ColourPop. And it's going to be a super long video. I feel like if I ever do this video again, like next year or something, it's going to be like three hours long. So there's a lot of stuff. And I have amazing news for you guys. Okay, so last year when I did this video, I had reached out to ColourPop and I asked them if I can give my subscribers like a coupon code because I was planning on doing this video and it would be amazing if I could give my subscribers like a discount on some of these products. And they told me yes. So last year I had a coupon code for you guys and I called my friend Jordan. And I was like, hey, I'm doing an update on all my favorite ColourPop products. Do you think we can do kind of like the same thing we did last year? And they said yes again, which I'm so grateful for because honestly, this doesn't benefit me or anything. This is just for you guys. I wanted you guys to have a coupon code to where you can buy all of my ColourPop must-haves and you can save 20%, which is awesome. So if you use the code Kathleen20, you can save 20% on those products. I'm gonna have a link down below and you can click it. It's gonna take you to the ColourPop website and it's gonna show you all all of my favorites and you can shop them all in one place and people can say whatever they want but I truly love ColourPop mainly because they are an affordable brand that gives you high quality makeup and they're cute and trendy they're literally for me like the perfect brand I've always loved them since the beginning of time do you guys remember when I had like 200,000 subscribers and I reviewed the lippy sticks those were the only products ColourPop had on their website well no they had super shock shadows and lippy sticks and I did a haul and I reviewed them and it was at first sight and it just bloomed from there so anyway if you want to see all my must-haves from ColourPop well you came to the right place okay so I'm gonna leave the eyes and lip products till the end I'm gonna go over some of my favorite face products or some miscellaneous products here that I want to mention okay I know you guys at home are like can you shut up can you start I will so first off, I have to give a shout out to the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is like a 6 or $7 concealer and it's amazing. It's full coverage. It looks flawless underneath the eyes and it doesn't really crease that badly. I'm in the shade Light Neutral. The only thing I don't like about these concealers is that they do get a little bit darker when you apply them. It gets like a shade deeper once you start blending it out. But it's nothing that really bothers me. Just keep that in mind because in the bottle, Light Neutral looks a little bit too crazy, like a little too white for me. But once I apply it and blend it out, it is is the perfect color. Besides that, for the price, the formula is just amazing. There's like over 60 products to mention, so I'm just gonna go through everything really quickly. I'm sorry if I'm talking really fast, but I don't want this video to be that long. All right, so when ColourPop launched these concealers last year, they also launched a ton of brushes, and I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, I don't use half of the brushes. Some of them are a little bit too stiff for me. I, I'm just not crazy about a lot of them, I, I'm gonna be honest, but these two, I use all the time and I freaking love this one more than any of them if I had to choose just one brush for you guys to get from ColourPop it would be this one it doesn't have a name on it but I think they're starting to put the names on the brushes now but this is the small fluff brush and this is the perfect highlighting brush this applies your highlight so perfectly and so pigmentedly some highlight brushes are just a little bit too fluffy this is the perfect shape the perfect density it really does apply your highlight in the most beaming way possible. Another favorite of mine if you're looking into ColourPop brushes, I forget what this one is called. I believe it's the small shader brush. I love this because it's a nice flat synthetic packing brush. There are a ton of brands that do brushes like this, but I like this one because it's affordable and it's also very stiff. I love using this to cut my crease and I also love using this with my ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. The ones in the little pot, those are best applied with either your finger or a flat synthetic brush and if you want to use a brush instead of your finger, this is the brush to use. So ColourPop has a few brow products. I think they have like two different brow pencils and while I like those, those are not like my holy grail, but one brow product I do think is worth it is the Brow Boss Gel. At first, 
I was a little bit iffy about this product, but the more I used it, the more I fell in love with it, and then I lost it for like a week. You guys know I lose everything. I lost it for like about a week, and I really, really missed it, and that's when I knew. That's when I knew. You guys know my favorite brow gel is from Givenchy, which is like so much money. It's the Mr. Brow Groom. They're completely different because that one is clear and this one has more of like a white creamy consistency, which that threw me off at first. But all you have to do is like tap it in and that like color goes away. But this makes your brow hairs stand up and like not move for the entire day. I love that feathery brow look and this gives you feathery brows like you wouldn't believe. Okay, so ColourPop also released a ton ton of like powder face products powder bronzers powder blushes powder highlights and while I really like a lot of them some of them aren't my absolute favorite like I'm not even gonna lie I haven't tried out any of their powder blushes yet but I have a favorite pressed powder bronzer and a favorite pressed powder highlight out of all the powder bronzers they released Private Party is my favorite. This is what it looks like. I've used this so much. I take it with me to travel, and I feel like this just goes with everything. This has a little bit of a sheen to it. Not a shimmer, but definitely it's more of a glowy bronzer. And I love that it's not too orange. Like, it's a warm bronzer, but it's not MAC Give Me Sun. You know what I mean? It's It really is a great, great like bronzy bronzer and for highlights out of all their pressed powder highlights here kitty kitty is my favorite one it's like the most beautiful champagne sheen ever it's the highlight i'm wearing on, pff, there's dog hair it's the highlight i'm wearing on my face right now and i love it because it's not glittery it's not chunky it's not thick it just looks like a smooth sheen on the skin it doesn't emphasize my texture a lot of their highlights are a little bit glittery, like a little bit too shimmery for me. Some people really like that look. That's not really my thing, which is why here Kitty Kitty is like my favorite. But no matter what, even though there are highlights in this palette I honestly don't even touch, I have to mention the Gimme More Highlighting Palette because the shade Bigger and Better right here. This is one of my favorite highlights I've ever used, like not just in the ColourPop world, I mean in my world. <laughs> it's like a golden peach, but it's not too dark, so it's perfect for my skin tone, but I can wear it when I'm tan or when I'm really, really fair. I don't know. It's just, it's honestly perfect, and it gives you a beautiful, delicious wet sheen, like your skin looks wet, and I just had to mention this because honestly, Bigger and Better is like the best, but ColourPop actually just released a new highlighting palette. I believe it's called In Nude In Nurendo. I just got it in the mail and I think that's gonna be my new favorite highlighting palette of all time. None of them in that palette feel chunky or glittery at all. They're like all sheeny. I can't wait to play around with that. Okay, so ColourPop also has Super Shock Cheek products. They look just like their Super Shock shadows, only they're bigger and they're for your face. They have blushes and highlights. I'm not sure if they still have the bronzers, but I, but I know they have the blushes and the highlights. Blushes, when it comes to this formula, it's just not my thing. I prefer a powder blush. And same goes for bronzer. But highlights, they have some of the most beautiful highlights in this formula, guys. It, it it's, an, it's unreal. First one being an oldie for sure. This one is in the shade Wisp. If you have like a medium skin tone, I think even deep skin tones can wear this. It's a really pretty gold, but there's just something to it. It almost has like a soft rose undertone, but it just looks stunning on the cheeks. It makes your cheeks look so like bronzed and goddess-like. I love this highlight when I'm tan. This looks awesome, but my favorite, 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 favorite is definitely Flexitarian. This one is insane. It's like so intense. If you have very fair skin and you're looking for a beaming highlight, you're gonna freaking love this one. I'm actually wearing it on my inner corners today, like that intense inner corner highlight is this. Really, really reflective and not for the faint of heart. So now let's talk about my favorite eye products. I first want to give a huge shout out to these guys. They're the Supernova shadows. You honestly need them. Although I will say there are a couple in the line that I think are a little bit too watery and they need a little bit more building up. These four are amazing and they don't need any build up. Well, except this one. First one is called Walk of Fame. This one is a little bit tricky. This is the only one you have to build up a little bit, but I, I don't mind that because it is so incredibly cool. It has like chunks of glitter in it and it just looks so cool all over the lid. It'll just take your look to a whole nother level. I love Walk of Fame. Dragon is like that delicious golden copper shade. You cannot go wrong with this one. UFO is one of their newer ones and out of the three new ones that they released, this one is my favorite. It's a really pretty pinky copper but it has tiny little blue glitters like blue and purple glitters all throughout it and then moonlit is like my ride or die I love this one it's a really pretty shimmery purple with like a pink reflect it's so nice 
The supernova shadows are where it's at, guys. Okay, so now I want to talk to you about a few of my favorite single shadows ColourPop has. I'm not going to lie, if you're going to invest in powder shadows from ColourPop, I say go for an eyeshadow palette. The pans are a little bit smaller, but it gives you a chance to try out the formula and the shades without spending so much. But if you're the type of person that doesn't like palettes, you grab yourself one of these. This is the It Was All A Dream palette from ColourPop. These are just like their empty Z palette style palettes, and I love these. Even though you can't see through them, I just I love what it's called. I have one full of blushes as well, so I love this little palette. But anyway, they have a ton of single eyeshadows, but I find these to be my favorite. Some of these I don't use all the time, but I find them so unique I wanted to mention them today. So I'm going to quickly walk you through these. I kind of have like the more warm yellowy green side and then the more like mauve berry side. But this color in play by play is so cool. I'm not sure if you can see it when I go like this. It's a duochrome that's yellow, green, it even has a little bit of like a pink in there. I don't know. Really, really stunning. I love Paper Tiger. It looks so cool all over the lid and then with like a bold eyeliner. I love it. If you're looking for a really beautiful wet looking gold, then I highly recommend Save It For Later. It looks so pretty all over the lid. This is like the perfect olive eyeshadow. It's called Team Captain. And then this one in Sideline is like the most unique green because it has like a dirty gold golden undertone. I don't know, it works really well with other warm eyeshadows. It's not just straight up green. And then if you're looking for more mauve tones, these are totally my favorite. This is Wake Up Call. When I first got these in the mail, I was using Wake Up Call in my crease all the time. When I would just like go out to the movies or like to lunch, just a little bit of Wake Up Call in my crease mascara and I was out the door. I loved it. I also really, really love Come and Get It because it's a really, really beautiful pinky gold duochrome shift. It's so stunning. This one is made to last. If you're looking for that perfect crease color, like that perfect mauve crease color made to last is your girl. This one though, if you want a really unique, cool eyeshadow, definitely pick this one up. This is called Glass Bowl. It is like a purple, a silver, a blue. It is so reflective. It reminds me of those Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadows where they apply like super foiled and wet looking. And last but not least, Cute Alert is the perfect deep burgundy shade. It looks stunning on the lower lash line. It looks stunning on the outer corners. It's like the perfect deepening eyeshadow when you don't want to use brown. So I just had to give a quick little mention to those. But you already know, I have to talk about eyeshadow palettes. I want to talk about these standard palettes first. I have four that are my favorite. Favorites. These are the ones like they make most often. They look like this. They're $16. Well, except this one. I'll get into it. These are worth every penny. Depending on what color scheme you're going for or what eyeshadows you like to wear, you will find something you love in their palettes. They have a few more, but these four are my favorites. The first one being Dream Street obviously. I feel like with this palette you can get neutral eyeshadow looks and bold eyeshadow looks out of this one. This gives you like the best of both worlds. Everything on my eyes today is from the Dream Street palette and obviously this is a super bold look but this is my everyday palette as well. I just use a little bit of these two shades this in the outer corner and boom, I'm out the door. Perfect for every day, but perfect for like a super smoky eye as well. <laughs> but I also really, really love Yes Please. I think this is like their best seller. If you're into like that really warm red sunset type of eyeshadow look, you need this one. This yellow is so cool and also very pigmented and I love it. One that I feel like nobody talks about. This is one of my favorites. First of all, the packaging. I love the packaging on this. First, It just reminds me of the 90s. This is the I Think I Love You palette. This is like the perfect palette when you want to do neutral and grunge because it has a bunch of neutral browns, but then it has a black and then it has this really cool like green gold shade right here. And my favorite thing about this palette is the fact that they are browns. It's like a full brown palette, yeah. But they're not super warm. They give you more of that like dirty grunge bronze look to the eye not so much like coppery and warm and then this one is awesome especially if you like a mirror this is the you had me at hello palette this one is just a little bit pricier I believe it's $18 versus 16 because you do get a full-blown mirror in here and this is the palette for you if you're into mauve tones you have a few warm colors in here as well you have like a few browns but it's mainly like a mauve tone palette so if you're into that you are really gonna love this one as well and then I also wanted 
to mention these two. This is the All I See Is Magic palette. I know it came out for the holidays, but it's still available. They have another palette very similar to this that has the same setup, but it's just like full on glitter. And while I really like that palette, I think this one is just a little bit better because it has a mixture of like glittery shades. Then it also has mattes and satin finishes. I feel like you get a lot in this palette, like a bunch of different textures. And I really, really like that. And I feel like you have highlight shades, deep shades, lid shades. It's, it's just really good. And then this one is more of like my honorable mention, but I did want to talk about it because one, you get full size eyeshadows in this. This is the semi-precious eyeshadow palette. But honestly, I, I'm just talking about it for this bad boy right here. This red eyeshadow is my favorite. And not just because of the color, but because, like, look at this, look at this. I'm not giving you guys swatches on the eyeshadow palettes because we'd be here for like a million years and I'm not swatching every single shadow in each palette, but this shade right here is like a delicious reddish orange color. Like it's red, but it has a little bit of a, like an orangey undertone that looks stunning all over your lid if you have like hazel eyes or blue eyes or green eyes. I think the whole palette is worth it for these three shades. This one, the red one, and this one right here. I mean, honestly, so pigmented and I love that red shade. So I just had to mention that palette. They actually just came out with a new eyeshadow palette. I think it's called Give It To Me Straight. Ooh, that one looks like a new favorite of mine. So you guys know I've mentioned the ColourPop eyeliners in several of my videos. They've made it to my yearly favorites like two years in a row. I think if you're looking for eyeliners and you don't want to break the bank, ColourPop eyeliners are where it's at. They have amazing colors, they're so creamy. I, I just love ColourPop eyeliners, but my most used are 100% these three. The first one, of course, is Mr. Bing. This is the one I use most often. It's a really pretty brown, but it has a very warm undertone, so it just makes any eye color pop. Like every time I put this on my waterline, people tell me like, wow, your eyes look really green today. It like never fails every time I wear this eyeliner. So, it's my favorite. If you're looking for that perfect nude waterline, Honey Dude is your guy. Super creamy, lasts all day. And I also really, really love Besto. This is the color I use when I want a brown, but I don't want it as light and warm as Mr. Bing. When I want a really deep, almost like purpley eyeliner, this is the one I go for. It has like that burgundy undertone that's so unique. It's time. It's time to talk about an OG product. ColourPop Super Shock Shadows are some of the best eyeshadows ever. Their best ones are the shimmery ones, the ones with glitter, the metallic finishes. I think they're better than their mattes. But there are some mattes in here that I, I feel like I cannot live without. So I'm just going to show you swatches and I'm just going to go through the colors like, like water. I'm just going to spit them out. So first we have Glow. You can get this in the Where the Light Is quad this is the perfect brow bone highlight if you're looking for like a matte highlight that has a little bit of something to it because it's not like a flat matte and obviously we have cornelius i feel like this one was my go-to crease shade for so long i never really used a brush either i would just like put my finger in there rub it in my crease and i was good to go i love cornelius but i think that this is my favorite this is like my second models and i'm already like going through it it's a really pretty pinky mauve but it has a little bit of a sheen to it this looks so pretty on your entire lid like in the crease and on your lid elixir is that perfect terracotta eyeshadow this reminds me of my miami fever lipstick with ofra but like in a eyeshadow form i love it this looks awesome in your crease smudge underneath the lower lash line. This one in Kennedy is one of their newer ones and I've only used it about two or three times because I just got it, but I've already used it like two or three times, which is saying a lot. There's like a little bit of like a satin sheen to this that just makes it so easy to blend on the eyes and it's such a pretty peachy color. And then this one is also another new one, I believe, but I really wanted to mention it because I used it the other day on my lower lash line and I got so many compliments that I had to mention it. It's called Don't Leave. It's a really, really intense pinky purple fuchsia. It is stunning. This one is in the shade Mittens. This is my third Mittens. Isn't that crazy? The only ones I ever go through are like the ones I create, but Mittens and Waddles, they're my life. This is my favorite to put underneath my lower lash line, all over my lid, mainly all over the lid. It looks so beautiful. And it's the perfect base for any eyeshadow. Like if you apply this to your entire lid and then go over it with like a bronze or like a gold, it just makes that eyeshadow pop so much. And then the last matte super shock shadow I really love is Central Perk mainly for its name. Friends is my life and I love this color because again, it's awesome for the lower lash line. I really like the matte ones mainly to smudge on my lower lash line because they last on my lower lash line 
all day like even more than powder eyeshadows so I really love central perk and then the rest of these are amazing glittery shimmery goodness and I'm gonna try to walk you through these as fast as I can the first one being telepathy I think this is the most unique amazing eyeshadow it looks crazy on your entire lid with like black in the outer corners it's so cool and really really fun this one is one of the new ones and I'm obsessed this one is called frog this is like the most stunning Topper like this reminds me of an eyeshadow topper. It has color to it. Don't get me wrong But it's more of like a glittery Magical like I hate to say it but like unicorny mermaidy vibe It is so pretty all over the lid like if you have an eyeshadow on and then you just apply some of this on top of your eyeshadow with your finger It just makes you look like a shimmering glistening mermaid. I freaking love this one I have to mention get lucky because it is one of the first super shock shadows I ever owned I even have like a full tutorial where I use this just on my lid. It's really really old I'm still living in Mississippi. This is the most metallic beautiful gold. It's not too yellow. It's not too dull It's like just a stunning gold. I don't know how to explain it Coconut is the prettiest blue eyeshadow color pop owns out of all the blues they've ever released coconut is the one you need. I really want to mention Issa. Is that how you say this one? I-S-S-A. Issa, like Issa look. Like that's like what the cool kids say. I, in my mind, I call it Issa. Because I had a friend in elementary school. Her name was Isabella. And we used to call her Issa. So I call this Issa. This looks so beautiful as a base underneath your eyeshadow when you want to do like a blue eyeshadow look or like a deep purple look. This looks stunning underneath eyeshadow. I only used it once, but I loved it as a base. It looked so so good. It made my look look 10 times better. I've mentioned lightning bug on my channel before. This is the most amazing copper gold eyeshadow ever because it's like a copper but it has like little golden foil flakes all throughout it. It looks insane on the lid. Of course, Weenie is like my favorite rose gold eyeshadow. If I'm ever thinking of doing a rose gold look but leaning more towards like the rose side of rose gold, I always pick up Weenie. Then we have Blaze. It's a really pretty cool toned bronze color. It has a little bit of like a green undertone. It looks really pretty all over the lid as like a single eyeshadow look. And then we have Kathleen Lights, which I can't even believe I named this that. Because if I could describe myself in one eyeshadow, it would be this one. If you cut me open, I feel like this is the juice that would spill out. Like this would be the color of my blood. And last but not least, if you want a similar color, but one that's even more orange, like I would say this is like an orange with like a golden undertone. This one is called Game Face. This is an OG for me as well. I used to love Game Face so much. I don't use it as much as I used to, but I had to mention it because it's still one of my all time favorite ColourPop shadows. Okay guys, now we can move on to the final category, which is the largest category, which is lips. I am gonna go through them really fast. If you wanna see a certain color like on my lips or something, just pause the video, screenshot it. I don't know, but I'm gonna really try to breeze through these. So first and foremost, I have to talk about the original lippy sticks. I still think these are amazing. I know they just recently launched lipsticks, like actual lipsticks, but their lippy sticks are so great. They're so easy to use because they're so skinny and they just fit perfectly like on the mouth. I love them. And they have different finishes. They have like creme finishes, matte finishes, and I have six all-time favorites. The first one, of course, is Aquarius. This is my go-to nude. It's my favorite nude lipstick ever. I think I've gone through like four of these tubes already. It never does me wrong. It's for me, for my skin tone, it's my perfect nude. Then, of course, we have Lumiere. This color is so stunning on so many people. I love how it looks on everyone. Taurus is also a really great one if you're into a very warm, brown it looks so pretty in the fall time grunge is one of those colors i feel like does not get enough love it is such a nice lipstick it's a really pretty deep color but yet not too bold it looks so good in the fall and winter if you want a neon i'm talking like neon like straight up neon orange chi chi is your girl i wore this a lot like three summers ago like non-stop i was loving this when i was living in key west it's like straight up neon orange if you're into an orange lip you would love it and then i have to mention frenchie because out of all the reds ColourPop has ever made I think Frenchie is one of the best. Every time I wear Frenchie, somebody asks me what's on my lips. Like it never fails. Frenchie, mm, you do things to me, Frenchie. Now I want to talk about the ultra glossy lips. I like that they're glossy, but they're not sticky whatsoever. They're not the most long wearing, I will tell you that. You will have to reapply throughout the day, but I don't mind. I just throw it in my purse and I'm good to go. I just love how they feel on the lips and I love that I can wear my hair down and have gloss on and not feel like <laughs> it's getting stuck. 
I hate that feeling. The first one I want to mention is Fairy Floss. This is the perfect pale nude gloss. I love this. I've used this so much. It's one of my favorite glosses of all time. The gloss that quickly took its place was Moonchild. Actually, I have to apply a little bit more. I'm obsessed with Moonchild. For me, it's the perfect nude gloss. That's not too nude because Fairy Floss, I love it, but it can be a little bit too light. This one is like the perfect nude. So I know that ColourPop released like ultra metallic lips once, not really my favorite, but this lip gloss in my jam, this is amazing. It's not one of their ultra metallic lips. It's an ultra glossy lip, but it's a very shimmery color and it almost looks metallic on the lips, but in a beautiful, beautiful wearable way. My go-to pink gloss though is definitely Aquarius. This one is a nudie pink, but whenever I'm wearing any type of pink lipstick and I want to gloss on top, I always throw on Aquarius. And then this gloss, I actually really love this gloss because when I first started getting into gloss, I was wearing this on top of Lumiere all the time. This one is called Finders Keepers. It's like the perfect mauve gloss. So before I get into the big kahuna, which are the ultra satin lips, before I get into that, I do want to talk about a couple ultra matte lips really quick. If I'm going to be honest with you, the ultra satin lips are the way to go. But there are some colors in this ultra matte formula that I just cannot stay away from. All I have to do is apply a little bit of lip balm underneath and they're good to go. I have five that I truly, truly love. The first one being Aquarius 2. I never thought I would like an ultra matte lip in such a nude color because I tend to go for darker colors in this formula. But this one in Aquarius 2 is like the perfect nude with a little bit, a little bit of like a cool mauve undertone. Every time I wear this color, I get compliments on it. You cannot get this color individually anymore. If you wanna get Aquarius 2, you can only get it in the Aquarius lip trio, like in the little bundle. This next one, my sister actually put me onto this one this one is called chi my sister used to talk about this all the time like she used to talk my ear off about chi and i never really gave it like a full shot until i wore it one day with like a gloss on top and i fell in love if you're into purples like straight up purples you will love lumiere too lumiere is much more mauve this one definitely has a more purple undertone but this looks so beautiful on deeper skin tones like when amelia wears lumiere too it looks so nice on her every time i wear this one i'm like man why don't i wear this more often it looks so Oh, freaking cool. I love this shade. And then these two, these make my heart sing, especially this one. This is a really pretty reddish burnt orange. This one is called Mama. Mama is what my entire family calls me. I actually have the word Mama like right here on this ring. That is like my nickname. So I love that this one's called Mama. But besides that, this color is so beautiful. I cannot get enough of that color. And I feel the same way about Love Bug. This one is similar, but it's a lot deeper. And it looks so nice on the lips. It's such a stunning, warm terracotta color. And I freaking live for terracotta shades. Like it, I'm all about that terracotta life. Okay, so now... Let's go through my favorite ultra satin lips because we have quite a few. If I could only choose one thing from ColourPop, like one product from ColourPop, it would be their ultra satin lips. Their ultra satin lips are my life. So that is why I have so many to share with you. First one being Aquarius. I'm sorry that you guys keep hearing me talk about all these Aquariuses. This one is different than Aquarius 2. It has more of a peachy undertone. And then Magic Wand. This was my go-to before I created Aquarius. This one is just a little bit deeper, not as peachy. I wore this nonstop when they first released Ultra Satin Lips. Like this was my go-to. Then I discovered Strip. Strip is so beautiful. It's also a nude, but it has a little bit of like a brown undertone that I feel like looks Looks so good with so many different skin tones. I love it. Alyssa is the perfect nude pink. On me, it looks more pinky, but if you have a little bit of a deeper skin tone, it's like the perfect nude pink. It looks so pretty on so many people. I also really love Dreamy and November. I'm mentioning these both because they're both my collabs, I know, so I'm trying to get them out of the way, but Dreamy is a really beautiful, like, burnt salmon color. This looks good on everyone. I love this shade. It's a nice way to wear pink without it screaming pink, but if you do like pinks, November is the one for you. It has almost like a rose undertone. It's not Barbie or bubblegum pink. It's like the perfect kind of pink. I love November. I also have to give a huge mention to frickin' frack. I wore frickin' frack so frickin' much. This used to live in my purse for a long time. I don't even know how to explain this color and I'm not even gonna try. It just looks so lovely on the lips. I love it. Point zero is a color I guess a lot of people are afraid of. This is my most used lip product out of 
like out of all my lip products I wear 0, 0.0 like it's going out of freaking style whenever I want to do something that's not nude or not red but I want it to be bold but not like too much I go for 0, 0.0 it never does me wrong all right so I have to talk about cozy this is the most beautiful neon red ever similar to Frenchy only even more neon it is so nice on the lips like this looks beautiful on deep skin tones in the summertime and then I have to mention this guy of course this is my favorite red orange to ever exist this one is called Hev and it is beautiful it is intense and bold and very neon and it's similar to cozy in the sense that it's very neon but it's like way more orange this is my favorite lip color on Amelia like ever and then last but not least I have to mention lost I love this freaking color it looks so beautiful I actually get a lot of compliments when I wear lost it's a really nice red without being too brown or too deep it's all around a great red oh my gosh we have gotten to the end of the video. I didn't think I didn't think we would ever get here, guys, but here we are. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to have that link down below if you want to try out any of these products. They will be 20% off for the next 5 days. So they will only be on sale for 5 days. I totally should have mentioned that in the beginning of the video, but I forgot. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what your all-time favorite ColourPop product is. I would love to know your thoughts. Leave it down below. But that completes this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.